Mick Stoltz is a recent graduate of GW Graham. She's a second year art student at UFE and a local filmmaker. Each time a film company comes to Chilliwack to shoot a movie, as Jeff mentioned, TV show or commercial, the commission requests a donation for the Chilliwack Community Film Fund. The commission distributes these funds to a local young adjudicated filmmaker. Taras Groves then mentor, mentors the young filmmaker, offering advice and access to valuable filming equipment, plus a screening of the film at his festival. Thank you again, Taras. Mick, we look forward to hearing about your experiences as a young filmmaker, so please come up and tell us all about it. All right, so in May of 2019, my filmmaking process began. I was in my grade 10 film class, and I wrote a screenplay because if I didn't hand something in, I was going to fail the class. So I panicked and I wrote something about something I'd been thinking about, characters I'd been thinking about, and my teacher was like, this is great. You should enter it in SIF. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. And when November 2019 rolled around, two my absolute surprise, I ended up winning the Script to Screen Award, um, which is like crazy exciting. Um, and basically that meant that my screenplay was going to be made into an actual short film, which was crazy cool. Um, and then of course, 2020 hit. And, you know, I won't touch, talk too much about the pandemic because, you know, we all get it at this point. But um, it, it, it was definitely a bummer. It, it put a hold on things for sure. Um, but when we finally... You know, we're like, okay, we're going to do this. And, you know, restrictions were lifted. And we're like, let's get started. So October of last year, um, just after I, I had turned 18, uh, I wrote up and I put out the casting call for my film. I posted it on like a million different Facebook pages. I posted it everywhere because I was terrified that I was going to get no responses to it. Um, but I did, obviously. So, um, And then in November 2021 and January 2022, uh, Apollo 5 Pictures was born, um, which is my little definitely work in progress film company. Um, my friend who's in graphic design um, helped me design the logo, which is super cool that like I have a logo for my stuff. That's so cool. Um, and then in that same time period, I closed my casting call because I actually got people that were interested in my stuff and wanted to work with me, which was like insane to think about. Um, so we ended up, yeah, we I closed the casting call and I kind of got in touch with everyone and everyone was crazy on board with it. And I was like, all right, let's get started. Then in January, 2022, I got COVID. So I was like, all right, that, yep. And it ended up COVID kind of messed us up again. Um, a couple of us ended up getting it. So definitely put another hold on things. But once we were finally able to get started in spring of this year, um, I, I was crazy pumped, like insanely excited. Um, so Apollo five pictures and zone pictures were working together and, you know, getting this done. So we started all of our kind of, we did more of our pre-production stuff. Um, and then in March of this year, I, uh, I found out that I was, uh, my boyfriend was moving to Langley and he's like, Hey, move with me. And I was like, all right, why not? Uh, so I ended up moving out there with him and I was stressed about school. And so I just had a million other things in my mind as a teenager does. Um, and, and in April of that year, it was Honestly, it was more of the same stuff. I was stressed about school. I had to like withdraw from a class because I was falling behind and everything was crazy stressful. And the one thing that kept me going in the back of my mind was my film. And I knew that I was so excited for this and I knew that there were people that wanted to do it. And that's kind of what kept me going. And then in May, we were like, all right, let's do this. And then I got dumped. And so I had to move back home to Chilliwack and my car broke down and I had to quit my job and so much happened. But in that time, I ended up making a list of my props and I got all my props that I needed and I got in touch with the actors and we were like, all right, you know what, regardless of what's going on, we're doing this. So we all finally met each other. Um, they were, most of them were from Vancouver. So we all finally met each other and the, up on the screen, there's some Polaroids of when we first met um, and we had never met before. So it was like you know, don't know how it's going to go. Um, but we all totally clicked and had so much fun. Um, and then when we started shooting, um, the first couple scenes we shot were me and the character Claire, uh, 
who was played by Alexandra Wallace. Um, she's amazing. We, yeah, we totally clicked. It was, people were like, are you sure you guys haven't met before? And we're like, no, this is, this is it. We're meeting for the first time right now. And so we, we just, we had amazing chemistry when we worked together and it all just felt so natural, which was great because I was terrified. I had no idea how this was going to go. I mean, I've never, I've made like little film projects with my friends, but this is what I want to do as a living. And, you know, I had no clue what to expect. I've, I've worked with, I'd worked with my iPhone and a couple of the cameras in my film class in high school, but I'd never worked with like other people who knew what they were doing. And so I was, you know, I had all these actors from Vancouver and I was like, I'm so scared. I'm going to mess this up. And my, I mean, my like lack of experience, but everyone stuck with me, which was super cool. Um, and so this is, pictures of one of my one of my favorite scenes we shot and it's me and Alexandra on my bedroom floor and um most of the film was shot actually in my in my house which is which is cool um and then absolutely terrifying we had this one scene where I invited like 25 people to my house and I was like all right we're having we're doing a party scene we're shooting a party scene and everyone was like okay like I don't know how this is gonna go and I was like okay I don't know how this is gonna go and we were all like kind of nervous about it, but I was like, you know what? It's happening. We're going to do it. We had, um, instead of alcohol, we had like fake shots and it was all just water. And so I would, I drank so much water that night as we were getting each take. It was like, I felt real hydrated at the end of it. Um, and it went so well. Like I was, no one there was expecting it to go well, myself included. And it went so well. I cried after everyone left and I cried again when Brennan sent me the, the uh, first first draft of my film, which was crazy exciting. And obviously, you know, he just sent me the first draft and I cried. So like, I don't even, I'm going to be a mess when the Chillog Film Festival actually happens and I see my film up there, I'm going to sob. But uh, I'm super like crazy excited for the future of Apollo 5 and, you know, everything I'm making in the future, I've got no shortage of ideas. Um, you know, it's just about getting out there and doing them. But when I have such a wonderful group to work with, I don't think that'll ever be an issue.